Well, Pep Guardiola is missing today, still recuperating after back surgery, leaving Juan Mario overseeing proceedings. And there are three changes to the 11, which saw off Sheffield United last Sunday, with Manuel Akanji and Phil Foden returning, while there's a debut for new signing Jeremy Doku as he replaces the injured Jack Grealish. Diop, Diop on towards Tete, and Tete into the gap for Andreas Pereira. Pereira on to Wilson, chested on to Deco Dovery. They're on the edge of the area, a little clip ball in, and they've won a corner Fulham. Good play from Fulham. Yeah, a little bit too easy, a little bit too easy for, for Fulham to get into the final third. Oh, Ake's played a horrible ball straight to Cordova Reed, and then Cordova Reed's played a horrible ball straight out of play. A bit sloppy from the Blues. It's just not there at the minute. The rhythm's not there, the energy's not there. You just need to up the tempo. From uh, Leo at the edge of his technical area, he's probably regularly in communication with Pep Guardiola, who we're expecting back on the touchline just after the international break. So he haven't created a single chance. Ball is with Doku out wide. Chance to take on Tete. He comes in field. Plays it back to Ake. Greenish, by the way, is injured and not involved today. Roderick up towards Foden. Foden, first time ball towards Haaland. And it almost reached Haaland and Fulham escape. And that's the best we've seen from the Blues. Yeah, brilliant. Goes across. It's Roderick just in behind. He might just have been offside. His movement was excellent. And then Haaland gambles around the backer in front. And he just gambled on the wrong one that time. Walker backwards to Rodri. Rodri in the central area. The pitch has lost the ball. And then he handled it as the ball bounced up at him. Well, you know things aren't going to plan when Rodri makes errors, and that's what just happened. Yeah, just the, don't look right today yet, the no, Blues. No, no, just need a little spark. It's just a little flat. It'll pick up. Midway inside the Fulham half. On it goes to Doku. Doku wide on the left-hand side. Trying to take on Tete, gets beyond Tete, puts in a deep cross. Foden tries to meet it. Good tackle by Robinson. The City fans are going to love Jeremy Doku. Yeah, but I've just, listen, I love him. I love, you know, I want my wingers, I want them to look at people in the eye and I want them to take them on, especially on the outside. And he had Tete on toast there, you have to say. Got beyond him, dinked in a ball to the far stick, and it was a promising moment. Now Alvarez on the edge of the Fulham area, inside to Foden, Foden drifting in. On it goes to Akanji, back to Foden, Foden all the way, oh, good off the line. He tried to square it for Haaland, actually, and it was uh, cleared off the line. Brilliant from Phil Foden. Kanji helps it on to Kovacic. Kovacic now into the gap for Haaland. Haaland in a shooting position. Alvarez, 1-0. Ball into the channel for Haaland. Haaland slid it into Alvarez. And Alvarez, who scored home and away against Fulham last season, has done so again. Well, the movement must have been very, very good from Haaland. Because I thought he might have drifted offside. It's very, very close. Very close. Once he gets in there and he pulls it, and I think it goes through the legs of the defender, and that's the ones that they just can't read. And a great finish from Alvarez. So Haaland with the assist, and Alvarez with the finish. And remember, last season, City beat Fulham 2-1. Alvarez and a Haaland penalty on both occasions. But uh, they've conceded a Fulham corner unnecessarily as well, actually. And uh, I think it was a mistake, really, a misjudgment by Ake. So it's going to be an outswinging corner. It's Fulham's third. They've definitely been in this game. And the first time shot, Edison saves it. Ream taps it in. It's 1 1. Well, the Blues can't quite believe that. It was just so simple. And Tim Ream, right on the goal line after Edison had saved, makes it 1 1. And the Blues were only in front for about two minutes. Into the final third, it goes with Foden. Foden wide on the right. Foden comes inside, still with Foden, clipped in towards Haaland, great header away. If Diop isn't six foot five, that's an Haaland goal. That's but a he is. wonderful ball from Foden. Walker makes a run that just pulls Robinson away, drifts inside. It's a fabulous floaty ball. And like you say, if it's not for Diop's height, brilliant defending from Diop. 
Outswinging ball. Ake's header, 2-1. Corner from the left. And Ake plants the header in the goal. Oh, hang on, Michael Oliver's coming over to the it's assistant. Just to see whether I think Akanji might have been in the keeper's eye line. They're checking for offside here. Well, he doesn't touch it. No, he's jumped over the top, so this should stand, it is, yeah. Yeah, good decision. So the only reason that it would get called off was if Akanji had touched it, and he didn't. So it's 2-1, that's a good decision. Balls with Rodri, Rodri into the gap for Alvarez, on towards Haaland, Haaland through and scores! And City lead by three goals to one, and just for a moment Fulham's concentration wavered. Alvarez into Haaland, and Haaland just gliding it past the advancing Leno, and City do have a third. And Alvarez and Haaland who combined earlier, it's a return of the favour, Alvarez to Haaland, 3-1 City. Balls with Haaland, Haaland in the final third, he's looking towards Alvarez, Alvarez gets there, Alvarez, oh, it's deflected wide by Diop, that's good defending from Mr Diop, slid in and just pushed it beyond the post. As Akanji lays it into the gap, and Av oh, Alvarez is through on goal, and is he, oh, that's a good tackle, I think. Oh, no, it's not, it's a penalty. I thought he's given a, a corner, he's given a penalty. Alvarez was darting into the back, into the back line. He got beyond the last defender and after a very sort of dramatic pause, Michael Oliver says penalty. And Haaland, who scored home and away from the penalty spot against Fulham last season, is of course still on penalty duty despite, despite the fact he missed one against Sheffield United. Now, Haaland. Scores. No problem at all. Leno went the wrong way. Haaland dispatched it into the opposite corner. Haaland's on another City hat trick, and the Blues lead 4 1. Andy yeah, Morrison. terrific penalty. Terrific penalty. The power and the mind strength just to forget about anything that's happened in the past. You know, Leno's looked at it last week and probably thought he might go safe again into that corner. But what a terrific penalty. Pereira. Getting away from Doku, and back it goes to Reed and into the possession of Castagna. And City can't get to this. Diaz, and then Jimenez, and saved by Edison. I suspect it probably would have clipped the outside of the post from Jimenez, but Edison took no chances and parried it out for a corner. Oscar Bob shows a few nice tricks and then lays it out wide to Sergio Gomez. City getting towards the final third. On it goes to Rico Lewis. Rico Lewis comes inside to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva out wide to Sergio Gomez. Gomez on towards Lewis. Lewis followed by Diop goes to Sergio Gomez. Can he cross it? Well, he decides not to. Comes inside Sergio Gomez. On it goes to Haaland! The perfect end to the day. It's an Erling Haaland hat-trick, it's his first of the season, it's his seventh for City, and City have won this game by 5-1. to one. Gomez does brilliant, you know, but if you can watch the movement of Haaland, it's as good as you're ever going to see, and it's, it's the coaching, and it's fabulous, what a finish, and it's that perfect moment, he's arrived bank, unbelievable finish, what a striker he is. And City thanks to a hat-trick in the second half from Erling Haaland, have in the end made light work of Fulham.